How's it going today everybody and welcome back to my channel, Shaner's Mechanic Life. Today I got a 2006 Chevy Express van with a 5.3 liter LS V8 engine in it. Customer's complaint is overheating. Took a quick look at it and it's acting quite a bit like there's an airlock in the system, which is you get air in a cooling system and it gets trapped behind a thermostat and causes the thermostat not to open, therefore causing overheating. You can get an airlock a couple different ways. First way is if someone's been into the engine or the cooling system and it didn't bleed it properly, there could be air trapped in the system. The second way is combustion gas getting in the coolant, which could be cracked head, cracked block, head gasket, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys a tool I bought quite a few years ago that's going to help determine where this air is coming from. Bought it at Napa. I believe I paid 75 bucks for it quite a few years ago. So I'm going to show you what it is. So this is a kit. It's made by UView. It's a combustion leak tester. Part number 560000. I'm sure you guys can get it just about any parts place or, you know, something equivalent. What it is, it's a tester. You put in, take the rad cap off, you put it in the filler neck, and you put this chemical in, it starts out blue. And as it runs, you kind of suck the air out, or if it's bad enough, the bubbles will come up. And if it's combustion gas, it'll actually change the color. If it's gasoline, it'll change it from the blue to a yellow color. And if it's diesel, it'll go blue to green. Now, if it's an actual airlock from someone doing work and it's just, you know, atmosphere air stuck in there, that's not going to change the color. The gases in the combustion gas will cause a chemical reaction, which changes the color. So in the kit, came with a bottle, but I used it all before, so I got a, a refill. So that's the tester. Well, let me show you how it hooks up. Okay, so what you want to do, take the first stage of it off, put it in your filler neck, Make sure you seat it good because it's got to be airtight. And then you take the chemical, fill it up the line that's marked there. You can see how it's blue. Take the second stage off, put it on, and same thing on this one. And then you put your top on. So to do this, you should have it, you know, fairly operating temperature. And then what you look for is bubbles coming up. Because as a combustion gas gets in a cooling system, it's got to go someplace. So it ends up coming up to this area and coming out. And if, uh, you know, you can squeeze the knob and it'll pull some gas up and see if you got combustion gas to change the color. Okay, well I'm going to start it up and we'll see how this works. Oh, you can see the bubbles already. No sense in even squeezing that knob to pull the gases out. So we're going to let it a little run for a little bit here. And see if it is uh, atmospheric air or combustion gas. And you can see it started off a nice dark blue. Takes a little bit of time there. But uh, you can see we, we definitely have a problem. That's just not, that's not normal there. Like I said, you know, it could be cracked head, could be cracked block or head gasket. So probably what you're gonna have to do is, uh, you know, do a controlled tear down and see where this is coming from. You can see it's already changing color. Anyway, I'm just gonna pause you for a little second here and just let it run and you'll, you'll see the difference in color, hopefully once uh, you, we come back. Yeah, you can see that's definitely changed color. We've got some serious engine problems here. This is just at idle. So I'm gonna go in the van, I'm gonna rev it up a little bit and then uh, we'll see how it does. Okay, 
Okay, well, I'm going to shut this off and then uh, I'll change out the top fluid and keep the bottom in there so you can see the color difference between the blue and the yellow. Well, there we have it. That's the color of the fluid when we first started. And that's what we ended up after we got the bubbles running through there. Now the next step to find out where this combustion leak's coming from is a cylinder leak down test. What that is, is you pull out all the spark plugs for all the cylinders and you pressurize each cylinder individually when it's at top dead center on a compression stroke, which is when all the valves are closed and the cylinder's sealed. So when you pressurize it, you look at the cooling system and you watch for the bubbles to start coming up. And when you get to the cylinder where you have the leak, then you'll see the bubbles and you know what cylinder to chase for once you start disassembling it. Now I talked to the customer, he doesn't want to go any further with this. Like I said, it's a, it's a 2006, it's got a ton of miles and it needs a bunch of other work. So financially, it just doesn't make sense to go any further with this. So he's gonna scrap it or trade it in, get whatever he can for it and put it towards a new truck or a van. And there you go. Color matches up with what it's said to do if you've got uh, combustion gas and turns yellow. You know, a kit like that is, it's good insurance, especially when you're dealing with customers. You know, they may not trust what you're saying or, you know, he's trying to rip me off or something like that. But when you have a kit like this, when you can actually do a test and show it to the customer that, hey, look, I've tested it, this is what's happening. You know, they're going to feel a little bit more comfortable letting you, you know, tear into their engine and let's face it, it's going to be a big bill. Or even if it's your own vehicle and you just want peace of mind to make sure that you've made the right decision. You know, for 70 bucks, it's, it's, it's well worth the money in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a good night.